Hello and welcome to another uh, 281T tutorial video. Uh, today we're going to talk about envelope mode and hopefully this will be relatively straightforward because people do tend to know what envelopes are most of the time. Um, so this is, it basically puts out a single cycle of a control voltage. Um, so in this mode the attack and decay are, it's sort of like, you know, how long it takes to reach the maximum voltage and how long it takes to go away from the maximum voltage. Um, so what I've done is I've got the dynamic gate of the zero control sequencer plugged into the trigger of the first channel. And then we're plugged into the one volt per octave on a new timbral oscillator. Um, because I find that with envelopes it kind of helps to hear the pitch because that's really obvious. <laughs> Okay, so what do we have going on here? We have attack and decay, and attack is raising the pitch, decay is lowering it. Okay, so you can hear that happening. Now an interesting thing, it's important to know between the sustained and transient mode here. If we're in transient mode, well, let's start from the beginning. The gate coming out of the zero control is pretty wide, right? So um, at this tempo, when the gate's open, it's like sustaining. Um, so the voltage is keeping that pitch high, um, which you can hear. Now, when we go into transient mode, it's only going to take the first part of the gate and not stay open. And... So you can hear this, the high pitch is staying longer in sustain mode than transient mode. Now let's give you an easier to hear that version. Um, so we're going to go into the VCA. So now we're affecting amplitude. Okay. So listen to that versus sustain mode. And if we slow down the clock, you will really hear it. So transient mode, just to sing, it kind of puts it in like attack release with no sustain. Sustain mode, add sustain. Boy, I'm brilliant. Okay, so with that in mind, let's have some fun. We can take the end of cycle gate and use it to trigger the next channel. Now we've got like a whole other set of control voltage to play with. So then it becomes like, what do we want to do? We can use it to affect something else. So now I'm just using it to sort of, it's increasing the decay time on channel one, but it's sort of like not in sync, so it's going to be a little different every time. Um, what's something else we can do with it? We can, if I had a reverb, we'd add it to the end of the reverb, which is kind of fun. Uh, we can try... Alright, so now we're affecting wave shape. Let me find the magic here. <laughs> A little tricky there. You can kind of hear it pulsing. Okay. So hopefully this gives you some ideas. And we have four channels of this. Um, so we can do all kinds of stuff. You know, one envelope can trigger the next three channels, which can in turn trigger anything you can think of. You know, it can change a delay. It can increase a reverb. Um, 
So there's a lot to think about there, and I hope this gives you some good ideas.